Hello YouTube. I want to take this opportunity to do a very, very quick, very shallow kind of a review of a few Miller Brothers blades uh, that I own. I will start off by saying that these are pretty exclusive blades. Uh, they do not make a, a mass quantity of these blades. Uh, if you follow them on Instagram or Facebook, uh, they'll post two, maybe three blades a week, uh, whether it be karambits, uh, knives, uh, swords even, uh, on their site and they usually sell out very quickly uh, and they're very pricey uh, they have swords uh, or machete length blades on their site that uh, they're priced around $21.95 uh, and they sell out almost immediately uh, they have these T1 folders that are amazing they look amazing I've never held one in my hand but they look outstanding and uh they're also around twenty two hundred dollars and they sell out very quickly and so when you uh, find something on the site and you're interested uh in it if you don't jump on it quickly it will go away uh, and i've kept my eye out for something that really appealed to me uh if you're going to drop uh, you know some serious money on a knife and I have several knives, uh, dozens probably. And, uh, you know, generally I would carry uh, Benchmade primarily. I love Benchmade knives. Uh, and then started getting in, into more exclusive stuff some while back, a while back. Uh, Bastinelli blades, things like that. Uh, Bastinelli chopper. Uh, also a great little everyday carry blade um, but it, 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 the blades like that are somewhat fragile you know I, I view them for their very specific purpose uh, to where one of these Miller Brothers blades I view it more as a tool than I do just a knife uh, the thickness on their blades I mean, it, it truly feels like a tool in your hand. And they use a, a Z-Wear PM Steel. Uh, it has very good reviews. Uh, edge retention is amazing. Um, they, they, they use G10 uh, on all their handles. Uh, similar to Micarta, uh, in my opinion. Uh, but they're able to do some pretty amazing stuff with the etching on the blades and uh, the definition in the G10 for the handles. Uh, they're very uh, sexy looking tools. The, the first blade that I uh, acquired from Miller Brothers wasn't from them at all. It was from a person on the uh, Facebook uh Miller Brothers uh, page and and he was selling it and it was one of their uh, very limited editions that they made strictly for a um, shot show and I was able to pick this up for around 700 bucks and that's about what they cost new I think 720 uh, and this was brand new never been used uh, and so I went ahead and grabbed it from them. And I wasn't a, a fan of the, the, the coloring on the, the sheets so much. Uh, but it's still, they, they put a lot of effort uh, and attention to detail in their sheaths as, as much as they do the blades themselves. Some of their sheaths are very elaborate uh, with secondary knives on them, with fire starters. Uh, I mean, their sword sheaths are uh, very elaborate. 
And so when you look at the amount of time that they put into each one of these, uh, you start to get some idea of uh, cost, you know, how they got to the price point that they're at. Um, and I'll tell you, you know, uh, my expectations when I spend a certain amount of money for a product, uh, I expect it to be, you know, worth that, that money, uh, not just a gimmick. And I can tell you that uh, I was not disappointed with either of the Miller Brother blades that I uh, acquired. This one is the M15. And once again, the width of the blade uh, truly makes it feel hefty in your hand. It is a tool and the fit and finish on the handle and how it mates up to the steel is perfect. And this thing can, I mean, the paper test, you know, everything you want to do. Uh, it's amazing. They've done tests on these where they've uh, stuck it in a vise like two inches from the tip and hung like over a thousand pounds worth of weight on the handle. And I think they, they got up to like 1,200 pounds uh, before they was able to get it to break. Uh, and I bet if you would have moved closer to the center point of this blade, it could handle a whole lot more weight than that. Uh, would you ever put 1,200 pounds of pressure on a, a knife while it's in your hand? No. Uh, you probably couldn't exert that type of force if you were trying to pry open a door with it. Uh, so it's definitely a tool. It's, it's pretty and it's sexy, but you can wear this thing on your belt uh, and pretty much do or have it do anything you need it to do. Uh, it's an outstanding um, knife. And the second one I acquired was their M5 uh, version of a karambit. And it's very, feels very good in the hand. Uh, it's a lot smaller uh, than the M15. And the sheath on this is not as elaborate as the others, which I appreciate because you could fit this inside your belt uh, and, and actually use it as an everyday carry. And I have carried this uh, quite a bit. Uh, it's not something that I carry every day because I prefer a uh, Alienware uh, holster uh, with dual retention points. And with dual retention points, this is a little bit too bulky uh, for what I carry. But I switched to a single retention point holster um, and then wear this uh, just because I absolutely love this blade. Um, it is amazing. And, uh, and I mean, that's my overall opinion is anything you buy from Miller Brothers is going to be uh, as much a work of art as it is a usable tool. Um, you can't go wrong. And if you get it and you decide that after a few months, like, hey, it's too pretty for me to get dirty, which is how I view this one. Uh, it's uh, too big for anything that I would normally wear on my belt. Uh, and it's not something I want to go chopping sticks with. So it kind of just sits in the safe. And that's good for me. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it, uh, just owning it. But if uh, a few months pass and you're you're like, I, I don't really do anything with it. It just sits in the safe. Um, uh, I need to sell it. Like the gentleman that sold this to me, uh, that was pretty much the same reasoning. It's uh, the resale value on them is up there. I mean, you can easily get 90% of your money back and you could uh, write that 10% off as a rental fee, an experience fee is what I like to say. Uh, but you can pretty much, you can invest in Miller Brothers and never take much of a loss. Uh, and so yeah, it's good all the way around. It, you can't go wrong. So if, if you're on the fence about buying a Miller Brothers blade, 
uh, I would encourage you to go ahead and grab one. Uh, if I was rich, I would have one of their swords just, uh, just to have it. And I probably would chop stuff with that just because that would be pretty fun. All right. Hope I helped someone. Have a good day.